Dar. Cât de gea. Feel the bench press for nine hours, 122 and a half, but shit happens. Doing a deadlift here as well, but I'm only really coming back to doing a deadlift after a bit of an injury, so if I lift anything here, it's a, it's a positive. Not about the bench, so Burpell's going for his box squat. Looking for the record. Another failure. It's been a productive morning. Strong. Fifty big ones. One sixty five, big ones. He done? And call it there. Oh, yeah, on the board. One six five. Change the name, your name's not Beefy. Yeah, I'll get it, don't worry. How you good, Lefton? If you haven't tried those uh, abroads before, try them, they're a tough one. Just had a bit of arms, a bit of core to end there. We got to hold it the other day, so. Got you ready for it. So back from, uh, back from that session there, um, I had a bit of coaching that morning as well before before Aaron came in, we'd done a bit of training. My training was pretty bad there today. 
Well, I'll say bad, I missed those kind of bigger lifts. I haven't had them before, at least in bench. It was on 122 and a half, like, so I was heavy. Um, and this is midway through the week, so probably a bit of fatigue setting in. Or maybe that's just excuses, I don't know. Um, the deadlift, I was just happy to get it moving because I've had a back issue for a while, so they actually get lifting a bit of heavy weight was nice. But um, uh, Aaron was uh, smashing it there. 165 in the box squat, like, is it's big lifting. It's the biggest we've had in the gym. And um, for him, like, he came started training here in June and didn't really do anything before that, like, and the amount of work he's put in. And, and how much he's grown, you know, in terms of the gym, like, and and uh, his physique and all has changed so much. It's it's class, like, and um, it's nice to see it paying off for people to put in the work, like, and I um, coaching later on, surprisingly enough. Um, but right now, you're gonna get some food. I'm gonna go for a chicken omelet, switching it up here today. And lately, I've kind of evolved into a Instagram story teller, Instagram. How do you spend so much time? So there's three really important things that you need to think about when you're designing your own program. And if you can write your program on the basis of these three factors, then your program should be pretty solid, or at least should work in some way for you. So the first thing, your goals. So it kind of goes without saying, you need to have a goal with your training, you know, what is the actual purpose of your training? My goals are to maintain my strength in season. So I'm going to have to put a strength program in place that's going to at least maintain my strength. The second one was to keep increasing the acceleration and the force. That's going to be plyometrics, that's going to be bits of sprint work, sprint mechanics. I'm going to have to mix that in. And then the final one was keeping the body fat low and building muscle. The diet is good. And then secondly, I'm going to have to have a bit of volume, as in more higher reps in my training day to give that kind of muscle building uh, effect to the training. So think about your goals and your program should be directed towards your goal. Time. So the reason we put that in is an important factor is for a lot of people you may only have two days in a week to train. So a two day program is going to be vastly different day, a four or five day program. It's time you have to train and if you have limited days you're going to have to do you know bigger and more effective workouts probably with bigger movements, bigger compound lifts. If you have more time in the week to train, you're probably not going to have to do as big a sessions. So you'll get to have a bit more variety in your training. Um, so time is a is a really big factor. Third and final one, your current plan. Are you currently doing training on certain nights of the week? Are you completely free most nights of the week? What does your current plan look like? So when I'm writing it down, I know I'm going to have a match or at least training on a Sunday. I'm going to have a pit session on a Tuesday and I'm going to have another one, another pit session on a Friday. Back there, I'm looking at that and looking, okay, I want to be as fresh as possible for all these sessions and I want to make sure I'm not overdoing it. So structuring out your week, writing it down in a grid format, what days you have it, and then figure out, okay, how can I, how can I fit my program around it? And then gridding out your week and, and structuring it and looking where am I training, where am I going to be sore, where can I fit in my workouts is the best way to do it. So. Just be careful about taking a program off the internet. Design your program with you in mind, not just because you've seen someone that's pretty big on the internet doing it. Um, so that's the three factors that if you can base your program off that there, you'll probably be you're probably on the right lines anyway.